The first one, police have stopped a truck with two nooses. This is in Alexandria. It's uh, near Gina. Uh, two teens apparently have been arrested. One says that he's a member of the KKK. The older teen has been charged now with inciting a riot. Let's go to the other place, Jeff. Follow me. Uh, you know, it, it, it's almost tough to look at this image here, but this is exactly what's going on today. A neo-Nazi website is now threatening lynching some of these young men that are involved in this incident. It's actually posting the names and the addresses of the Gina Six kids. Uh, one of their sites actually reads, let them know that justice is coming, and it's trying to get other whites, it says, to see if it could possibly... In fact, Bob, give me that. This is, this is part of the website that we've been looking at all day. We're going to be, you know, frankly, I prefer that you don't see the actual listing on it, but uh, we're going to be reading parts to you and to some of our guests. And then this is the other development that we're following now. Michael Bell, he's still in jail. He had his big hearing that we were here at CNN we're following today. The family asked the judge to release him on bail. So far, the judge there has refused. We have a special guest we're going to bring in right now. Martin Luther King uh, III is good enough to join us. He's the son of uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, he was there yesterday during those uh, demonstrations in Gina. Martin, let me ask you straight out, uh, by having you respond to this website that I was just telling his uh, viewers about, put it up if you can, Will, and I'll read you this part. It says, uh, if these N-word are released or acquitted, we will find out where they live and make sure that white activists and white citizens in Louisiana know it. We'll mail directions to their homes to every white man in Louisiana if we have to in order to find someone willing to deliver justice. Your reaction, sir? Well, it's a very tragic day in America when we have escalated to this level. Uh, which alludes to violence, even though it does not say specifically violence, but it alludes to that. Yesterday, a demonstration of anywhere from 20 to maybe as many as 60,000 people came to Gina in a nonviolent demonstration. Uh, there were no incidents. It was a, a very positive day. And it was saying we want to see justice for these young men, but also justice for both sides. Uh, that means that, yes, perhaps there may be some additional punishment. I, I don't, we don't know what that means at this point. How do you... And justice and then reconciliation. You've got to bring this community back together at some point down the road. This, 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 this guy with this website has just released this information. I'm going to quote him here. He says, uh, what I say and said is no different from uh, Al Sharpton or you, he says MLK the third, threatening to riot, making threats of violence against white people. Um, what's your response to that? Did you make threats well, of violence or rioting oh, yesterday? Ab absolutely not. That's very tragic that uh, this person, whomever that person is, clearly does not know what he's talking He does not understand the movement of Martin Luther King, Jr. Uh, no one at the demonstration, in relationship to the two names that you just called, advocated for violence and never will advocate for violence. Th there, there that is something we must never reduce ourselves to. There was an incident that happened out there today. In fact, Martin, stay there if you would for just a moment, because I understand we've got some tape coming in. There's a new development, and this is another part of the story. Forty miles from the road uh, from Gina last night, some of the demonstrators were waiting quietly for their ride home when they suddenly noticed a pickup truck that was driving around. It had two nooses uh, that were dangling from the pickup truck. In fact, uh, Tanisha, if we've got that video of the arrest, let's go ahead. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that up to our viewers if you can. Who was driving the truck? And this is the news. There's another one on the other side. They pulled um, a rifle out of his car, and then they gave him back to the police for committing the war. But he is now being arrested for what I can Burnett is our eye reporter. She uh, shot this video with her own uh, home video camera, and uh, she's joining us now on the line. Erica, um, boy, I'll tell you, you really witnessed something there that must have been personally tough for you to watch. I imagine it was tough for some of the other folks there. You come from where? Nashville down to Gina, right? Correct. Um, we had about six or seven buses that departed from Nashville on Wednesday evening heading to Gina, Louisiana, and then we um, proceeded to go to an additional rally in Alexandria. So you're there, you're leaving, and suddenly you witness this. Can you describe these two characters for us? Um, the only way I know how to describe it to you is pure hate. If 
there's anything that I can say is that our spirits, all of us, it was maybe approximately 60 of us who witnessed this, um, the only thing that we felt was pure hatred um, coming from this pickup truck. And they circled the block three times, not once, not twice, but three times before they were apprehended by the police. They were instigating, right? They were trying to egg people on. How, how did people respond to that, and how quickly did the police get there? And was there ever a point where you thought this thing might escalate? Um, honestly, we had had such a productive day that I knew that there would not be any type of outburst whatsoever. We were there for a cause, and we knew our purpose there. So I did not fear that anything would escalate or anyone would be hurt. However, we were very concerned that something would happen, and something did happen. Thankfully, there were police officers there. They were present on the spot. So upon their third time circling the block, the police car was able to block them and stop them from proceeding. Well, we thank you, and to your credit and to the credit of others there, there were uh, no problems, no violence reported by police, and the, in the, the incident seemed to be handled in an orderly fashion. We thank you once again, Erica Burnett. Let's go back now to Gina. Sean Caleb's is following the story for us. Sean, here's where I want you to pick up the story. I understand there was a big hearing today for uh, Michael Bell. He, uh, for viewers who don't know, is one of the six, but he's the one who's still behind bars, right? What happened? Exactly. Uh, he is really the one. A lot of the attention was focused on yesterday because he has been locked up for the past nine months. It was a closed hearing today because right now Bell is being treated as a juvenile. But feeding off the energy from the massive demonstration yesterday, it was the family thought it'd be a very positive.